Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to get your smithing from level 1 Let's to level 100. Is... First off, you want to go to the Halted Stream camp. It's not great for my you want to go into the mine. Make sure you're on Master Difficulty. Then you'll get the, or not Master, Legendary. I'm going to go down this way. Down here. Leave it on the table. There we go. So, it's mute. You want to go to the books? I'll learn it. All right. Now, once you've done that, head back up outside of the mine. Make sure you head to your local forges, such as White Run, Solitude, wherever you want to go. I prefer White Run, but that's me. What you want to do is you want to get all of the ore that you can. Silver ore and iron ore. You want to get iron ore the most, though. Alright, so... See, I already bought from them. Oh, what is it? It's better things not with you. you just can't be bothered with. Uh, where's iron ore? There we go. I have 40 on me right now, but... Magic... Wait, which one is it? Transmute. Little silver ore. Then all you have to do... T. Wait an hour. It should take you about 10 to 20-ish minutes, depending on how much you have. As you see in the top left, gold ore added, silver ore added. Guards have been saying things about you. You're the one that. Well, it also levels up your alteration. So. Feel free to skip ahead. How much ore do we have left? Here's the gold ore. It's gold ore. It's only worth 50. And by the way, this also works with enchanting. I'll show you how to get your enchanting up as well. Probably the easiest method because that way it doesn't really require you to spend any money. Um, you can just go to a mine and keep mining all the silver and iron ore. Um, I just bought it and I got some traveling and I did go to a mine a couple of times but started with like 40-ish. So. Should only be a few more left. Let's see how much more. Twenty gold, twenty-four iron ore. So we still have a little bit to go.
much for fancy magic someplace else. Process, but it's definitely worth it to get your sniffing up. And it also works with alteration. It doesn't give you that much XP for alteration, but I mean, I've gotten up six levels from doing this, which I mean, they're low levels, so it's not really that much XP, but it's something, so. See how much ore we have left. Two iron ore. All right, we're almost done. Should be the last one, and then we can get started to the next process. Gold or how much silver do we have? No. All right. Now you want to go over to the smelter. All right. You want to make a bunch of gold ingots. Should be able to make around twenty-one, I believe. I didn't see the exact amount. See, we went from a, what, five coin value all the way to a hundred coin value. Now, you could sell these, or you could use it to get your smithing all the way up. Uh, you make a lot of profit with that. So, now, we go over to the forge, and we can make all of these. Make two gold rings, one, as you can see. Uh, let's see. The most expensive thing I can make. Obviously, the most, the more expensive, the more you know cost, the more XP you get. So I'm gonna make as many of these as I can. But you can also use these to get your enchanting up. As you see, smithing is up. Sapphire. I do have a lot of sapphires, so. I would stick with the gold necklaces unless you have other gems of value. So this should have gotten it up three ish levels. Um, one more short. No problem. So now you have this. Now, if you want, you can sell them and turn a profit. Or you can be like me and go to the enchanting table. So once you've done all of that, you go to the enchanting table and you can enchant because the higher the item is, the more XP you get for the enchanting. And once you get high level armor, you're going to need to enchant. So. diamond ring. What gives it the most value? 
weapons and armor. Carry it. Carry weight is the best. Now I just need a soul gem. Now the best are grand soul gems. Because if you look at grand soul and gold, or I mean black soul, they don't really change. But black souls are a lot harder to get than grand soul gems. Great old soul, soul gems aren't that bad, but anyways, craft this. And kind of rocketed my uh, you've only scratched the surface. Kind of rocketed it all the way up there. So we're gonna repeat the process and gold emerald. Carry weight is probably the most expensive one that I have. Chant. Look at that. 35. And you just repeat. So go here, except for the. Ooh, I'm not gonna keep using my all my good soul gems. So, but you can sell these and make a ton of money. Like, then you can use those to train to get your uh, smithing up, or you can use them for whatever else you want. But yeah, I'm gonna need. <laughs> Need a lot more. Like look at that, fourteen hundred. Well, nine hundred with this, but it's four hundred there. So, and soldiers aren't that hard to get. Like you can come across them fairly easily. Now the next part is you have to find a place that will distribute what you have. So what's some oh, gold rings are not worth that much. <laughs> Carry weight is probably one of the most useful enchantments. I use a petty soul gem just because I don't want to use all my good soul gems. Look at that, it still brings it up. It's crazy. All you have to do is rinse and repeat this process. I'm not going to continue to go over it with you, um, but just go to a mine continue to mine the ore, get the transmute, rinse and repeat, you'll be rich. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.